Hey guys, this is Jim from Parts Grabber. I'm going to show you really quickly how to tune a 2012 F-150 5 liter with the HP Tuners N-Gage. So first thing we're going to do is install the N-Gage and the coin holder on the two-wheel drive version of the F-150 is a great location to mount it. I used some double-sided tape, ran the cord through the back here and plugged it right into the ALDL port. You can see that. Nice clean installation, only takes 10 minutes, no drilling. So um, once we've got the gauge mounted, we're gonna have to put the key in. And there's an SD card down here at the bottom of the gauge, and that's where you're gonna load your tune. So what's gonna happen is your remote tuner is gonna send you a tune file. You're going to uh, save that file from your email onto your SD card, and then uh, you save it in the tuned files folder. Once you've saved it, you install the, the card back into the end gauge. Now let's go ahead and start the truck up really quick. And I'm going to go ahead and shut the vehicle off once it connects. Okay, you can see now it's in gauge mode. You can customize all these gauges. It's showing how much actual spark I'm gaining, um, calculated engine load, how much timing retard basically. And it shows the perceived octane of what fuels in the tank. So I'm going to shut this off. Turn it back on, and I can press anywhere I want on the gauge, and it will bring me to where I can flat press back and exit gauges. So I can choose, of course, to configure my gauges. I can go into tuning or I can go into diagnostics. Well, today we already have a tune written uh, by Tony from Tuners Inc. He wrote an 87 octane tune that refined the shift points a little bit, uh, added some timing, and picked up a little horsepower while still allowing us to run 87 octane. So I'm going to click on tuning. Then you click load tune and what we probably want to do is make sure we shut the air conditioning off and the radio off that we're not creating a voltage draw anywhere we don't need to and then of course it says on the screen here select tune to load well i'm going to select um, the jim ford 2 is my stock file so i'm going to arrow to the right until i find the tune file that i want and here it is notice how it says tuners inc that's my 87 octane tuners inc file that tony wrote so I'm going to select that file and I'm going to hit check. The Engage will confirm flash this tune. Yes, hit the check mark. This will approximately take three minutes. Check mark. Key, of course, is already on. It's important while this is flashing, do not turn the key off. You could crash your computer. Yes, it's very easy to recover, but why do it in the first place? So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video really quick and I'll come right back once it finishes flashing. And we're just about finished here. You can see the progress bar tells you where you're at. Tune installed successfully. Then it says turn the key off for 10 seconds and then start the vehicle. So we're going to do just that. We're going to turn the key off. We're going to wait about 10 seconds. I think we're good. Go ahead and start it up. Now we have our tune file installed with the HP Tuners N gauge. Anytime you want, we can go back to stock. Um, you can load as many files on this as you like, up to what will fit on the SD card. So again, um, in this case, uh, you can buy the N-Gage directly from HP Tuners, or you can also buy it from any HP Tuners tuner shop. $459 is the retail price. You usually see it priced on the internet between $449 and $459. It does everything a tuner does, but it also functions as a gauge. So once you exit out of the tuning, you can click back on gauges. It'll connect to the vehicle and you can configure your gauges. Thanks again to Tony from Tuners Inc. for doing the tune for us and hope you enjoyed.